Alright guys, got an update video going out. I'm sorry I wasn't up late, able to upload it last night, just stuff was too busy. And I figured that doing it like this, I'm about to do, would be the best solution. So you can see, I got all my baggage set up, because it said I was going to be ending my trip. And I can't bring this boat with me, but yeah. A um, couple noteworthy things. Um, yeah, done with the summit, done with the SAX-10. It's going to be a while since you see them next time. And, yeah. So I'm all, pretty much all packed up at this point. I got all my slash stuff, and then I fit it underneath the roll cage. But here's another thing worth mentioning. I'm finally getting a Venom Pro 2 charger. My cousin has given it to me, and I, he says it can keep it for at least a couple months, which is bloody awesome because... All this time I've had a really bad charging setup, and now I can finally have something that just plugs into the wall. And it's also ready for 6 amps, and it can do a bunch of other stuff. You know, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice charger. It's about 120 bucks at least. So, yeah, I can just pack all this up. I can't bring my RC bow. You've seen this before. I was planning on bringing it with me. Uh, it broke, but that's not the point. Uh, it doesn't fit inside the bag which really sucks because I wanted to bring it with me and work on it, but I guess I'm not doing that now, which is unfortunate. And I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna finish packing up. If you want to see the kind of environment I'm in, here, let's take a look outside. There's my dog over there. You saw him in the last one, I think. And yeah, it's very nice. Very, very nice. I don't know what I'm doing. And so, yeah, I'm about to have my flight in five hours, or something like that, no, like, seven hours, yeah, and I'll be driving over to, to Toronto, well, I'm going to be driven over to Toronto so I can catch my flight, then I head back to Saskatoon, and at this point, I think I'm just going to see you when I'm in Saskatoon, so let's head back home. Alright guys, now I've made it back home. Pretty cool teleportation stuff, eh? So now, we're back with the Rustler, and we're back with the Mini Revo. Got everything that was here before, and it's back to normal. Honestly, kind of lame over here. It sucks, but yeah. Now... For the end of this update video, I need to announce what's going on for the next week. So, big stuff is happening. First of all, this Saturday, which I'm recording it right now, um, I headed back to Saskatoon at 6 o'clock. Um, and I'm going to be in Saskatoon doing stuff for the next few days. And the reason it's only going to be a few days is because I mentioned this trip to Australia thing. Well, now I'm, I'm announcing the dates. Well, not the exact dates, but pretty much all you need to know is that next Wednesday at, in the afternoon, I leave for my first flight over to Australia. I think I'm going from Saskatoon to Vancouver, Vancouver to Los Angeles, Los Angeles to Sydney, and then Sydney to Melbourne. It's four flights, and it's apparently going to take a total of 30 hours, so it's totally going to murder me. But once I'm there, I'm going to be hanging out with my little cousin to make RC videos and bring the Rustler and the Slash. And we're just going to have a lot of fun. Hopefully I can pump out a lot of videos still and have a little bit of my own hobby room. And yeah, speaking of the Rustler, I need to do a few upgrades. I think you've already seen these RPM parts. Yes, I'll be doing those soon, and hopefully I'll have enough time to install this fan. I think I'm going to like put it right above the body. And then just cut out this hole or something. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but something around those lines, I think. And I guess this is it for this update video. And I will see you when I'm in Australia. So peace out.